So yesterday I told a story about this kid back in elementary school that used to take a shit on the bathroom floor. He wouldn't use the toilet. The whole bathroom was his toilet. And he used to take a shit all over the place. He didn't give a shit, dude. And on top of that, it wasn't like a solid turd, you know? It wasn't something that the janitor just walked in, scooped up, and then left. It also wasn't just diarrhea. This was advanced diarrhea, okay? It was runny. It was fucking cottage cheese looking. It was just disgusting, dude. It was just a stream. It was more of a pudding, dude. I don't even want to get into it, dude. It basically was fucked up, okay? We're just going to leave it at that. This diarrhea uh, technique that he used, Alberto here, that was the kid's name, was just fucking disgusting, dude. It wasn't gross. It wasn't icky. It was disgusting. But I uploaded that video yesterday and a lot of people liked it. A few people were a little bit mad because they're eating when they watch the video. And a few people were actually mad that they were eating during the video. I had some comments that were like, oh my god, I was eating some chocolate pudding. You fucking ruined it, you fuck! And I'm just sitting there like, well, the video title is shit. Like, it's literally shit, dude. But everything seems pretty normal when I started getting the same comment, which was, Leafy, I like this story, but... I actually had a kid that used to shit on the floor as well. Leafy, hey, I like your story, man. I like the video, but I gotta say, I used to have the same thing at my school. Except for instead of shitting on the floor, he used to shit in the fucking sinks, dude. But overall, these were just the beginning. I got so many comments after this involving something with... Well, I mean, shit. I mean, there were so many different stories with this too, dude. There was this one story about this guy that used to go to the fucking locker room, take a shit, put his shit into a locker, right? And then he locks the locker with a lock, and no one knows, you know, why the whole locker room is smelling like ass. But little do they know that there's literally fucking feces in one of the lockers, and the best part, and by best part, I mean the most fucked up part, is even when apparently they found out that there was shit in the locker, they couldn't even unlock it because there was a lock on it, dude. Like, like, dude, all I gotta say is whoever actually came up with this is just so fucked in the head, dude. Dude, it's one thing to go into your locker room and just shit all over the place, okay? Just chipotles all over the place. It's another thing to take that shit with your hands and start smearing it everywhere, right? <laughs> but, dude, you reach a whole new level when you're sitting there in the dark with a lamplight hanging back and forth in your basement thinking to yourself... I want to shit in the locker room, but I don't want it to be cleaned up. I want it to be there for as long as possible. What can I do to make it so everybody in the locker room <laughs> has the worst experience possible and my shit remains in there for fucking ever? And dude, these were just the beginning. There were so many different stories like this, but they all involved the same thing. Guy goes into the bathroom, guy goes into the locker room, and just fucking shits all over the place. Oh my god. So I do a little bit of research, right? To find out, it's not just my story. It's not just the YouTube comments. There was literally a term for these guys. It happens all over the place. From fucking America all the way to the Australia, dude. It happens everywhere. And they call themselves the Phantom Shitters. <clears throat> uh, the Phantom Shitters, okay? That's their name, the Phantom Shitters, right? And they don't call themselves that. That's just like what the internet calls them. But there's actually a term for these guys, dude. <laughs> and look, I just got to add, okay? When you listen to a story or when you listen to something over the internet, you get caught up in the story, you get caught up in the atmosphere, that you forget one key thing, right? This is real shit. There are actually fucking people that go into fucking locker rooms, shit in their hand, and start smearing it over everywhere, dude. Who the fuck are these people, dude? I gotta ask. Like, what the fuck on any actual level, dude? These people aren't disabled. They're not walking around in fucking diapers, okay? This isn't the Loch Ness Monster doing it. These are real people. Like you. Like me. You could be walking by me down the street. Little do you know that I just got done fucking shit shitting out Chipotle's at a random bathroom and smearing it all over the walls, dude. Like, what the actual fuck, dude? These are real people, and this shit is actually going on, dude. I just have to add that. My fuck. But that's gonna be it, guys. This is the end of the video, but this is not the end of the phantom shitters, okay? They're everywhere. They could be you. They could be me. They could be Justin Bieber. It wouldn't really be that surprising because he was like pissing in a bucket or something. What was that? Was he shitting in a bucket too? I'm not even joking. Was he actually shitting? Someone leave in the comments because 
I'm not really sure. I just heard he was doing something with the bucket, dude. So I hope you guys enjoyed this video today. If you did, leave a like. If you leave a like, I'll give you free Chipotle's. Yeah, no scam. That's completely legit. Free Chipotle's for every person that likes the video. And <laughs> thanks for watching, guys. And uh, yeah, peace, peace. Beware of the phantom shitters. Shit.